Hi everybody, this is Melissa from Getting All My Ducks in a Row.blogspot.com and it's time again for Monday Mingle. Monday Mingle is hosted by Jennifer at 80mileprayermom.com and each week she posts three to four questions that she'd like you to answer in the form of a vlog and then link back to her site and I think it's really fun. So, this week we are on our seven days off. We've done six more doubles and um, I'm really enjoying my work schedule. Um, it's it's really hard to get through the doubles, but once we get past that first day where we're sitting on the couch and not doing anything, um, it's pretty fun just to be off for um, seven days in a row and not have to go to work. Uh, we took the kids on a uh, nature walk yesterday, we went to the splash pad, and today we went over to a state park and roasted hot dogs and made s'mores, and um, you know, it's just really fun not having a job <laughs> for seven days. So. Um, this week, the questions are a little different. Um, 80 Mile Per Hour Mom has provided us with the answers, and we're supposed to come up with the questions. So the first answer is Facebook, most definitely. And I'm going to guess that the question is, where do you waste the most time in your day? Because it's very easy to get sucked into social media sites like Facebook or Twitter and um, just waste your day, um, you know, putting stuff out there and seeing what people say and checking in other people and seeing what they're up to and it you know it, it can really be a big time sucker so number two is probably the answer is probably when I was about three cooking with my mom and I'm gonna guess the question is when was the first time that you made cookies and um, the first time I made cookies was actually in high school I made them for a speech that I was giving in speech class we each had to come up with a five minute speech um, it could be about anything, and I chose cookies, so um, I made a batch of peanut butter cookies and um, didn't follow the directions very well, which is kind of sad because peanut butter cookies are like the easiest cookies to make, but um, I forgot the sugar in the first batch, and they were horrible. I mean, they were they were horrible, but I, you know, I thought this would make a really good speech. I could talk about the fact that you really have to pay attention, you know, and follow the directions, so I saved the first batch, and then I made another batch with the sugar and um, passed out the first batch in class as I was giving my speech as if they were, you know, I was really proud of them and, you know, and then I talked more about, you know, following directions and stuff like that and passed out the second batch and it was really, um, made the five minutes go by fast and um, if you're if you're like me, I'm, I'm not real good at public speaking and I don't really like it, so um, it really helped me. And then the third answer is, I would have to say the city town of Petrolia, California, and I'm going to guess that the question is, um, where would you most like to live? And for me, that would be St. Louis, Missouri. I really enjoy the atmosphere there. I really enjoy <clears throat> the um, just the the whole experience. You know, the alfresco dining, everybody eats outside, uh, the concerts in the park, and um, the area that we're in that we were in Lafayette Square, and um, at their concert in the park, you know, everybody's coming with their kids and um, you know, there were there were close to, to 3,000 people there in the park, and all of them had um, wine glasses and bottles of wine, and everybody just had a good time, and they were there for three or four hours, and I didn't see one, one single person who was out of control, who was um, not being responsible for themselves, and I just thought that that was um, amazing. You know, here in my hometown, that would not be an acceptable pr practice to take um, a bottle of wine to the park. It's just not how things are done here, and I really would like to live somewhere that that would be okay, that that would be, you know, that people wouldn't take it too far and get so drunk out of their minds that they, they weren't being responsible. So, okay, well, that's this week's Monday Mingle. Three easy questions. Answer them before the vlog and then link back to Jennifer's site. And I'm going to use the second part of my video for show and tell. Um, I am celebrating my one year blogging anniversary at the end of this month on July 29th. I took the plunge and um, put my first post out there to the world and um, I can remember I can remember then not wanting to do it. I was a reader of several blogs um, for a few months before that and I just thought it was such a great um, the, the women were so supportive and encouraging each other and they were leaving comments back and forth and I just, I wanted to be a part of that. And um, so the first few months was kind of a struggle for me because I didn't really understand um, how to blog or, or what to post about and so I would post about stupid things and um, 
it just wasn't, the first few months weren't very exciting. But once I figured out that the more you put of yourself out there, the more people have to connect with. That's a, that's a really big thing I think that most bloggers, um, new bloggers should know. Is that you know if you if you put something out there a story about your life or or you know thoughts that you're having, um, somebody might be able to connect to that and then they would leave you a comment and and start a conversation and I think that that's a wonderful thing about blogging so I'm really excited to be celebrating uh, my one year blog anniversary and I have a few things to show you guys that I'm going to be giving away at the end of the month and I'm going to do some product reviews. So the first one is from uh, Melanie at Whimsical Creations, and she makes the most amazing things out of polymer clay. She made my daughter a set of five um, Disney princess ornaments, and they were so cute. Um, and she just sold out some new items in her shop. Um, she's doing some polymer clay rose earrings, and I bought myself a set. And I was going to buy a set for a reader, but she was so sweet to sponsor the giveaway, so um, she's going to be giving away one to one of my readers. Um, and this is the set that I bought. Make sure I, I can show you guys. There we go. Right here. And they are rose earrings. Right here. And they're really cute. Um, and she's doing some in white, purple, and red. And I chose red. So. And then the second sh shop is Tracy at Sweet Harper. And she is making... Um, such cute clips. I bought several sets from Miss Maddie, and I even bought one social media set for myself. And um, this set is really cute. This is the Bicycle for Two set, right here. And so I bought one for Miss Maddie. This is Miss Maddie's set. And I bought one for a reader. So at the end of the month, um, I'm going to give away this set right here. Somebody's going to get one. And uh, I just love Tracy because she always does this something sweet for us. Look at there, just some extras. And, um, I'm, while I have been blogging for a year, I'm still very new at blog, and I'm really working on my stats and product reviews and things like that. So, um, I have, uh, while I'm a member of Team Mom and Business to Blogger and like the product review place and things like that, I still am contacting companies, and I contacted a really big company this week, and I was really excited that Hasbro wanted to work with me in my one-year blog anniversary. So they sent my kids five really cool toys to um, play with and review and so that's going to be coming into the month too. They sent Miss Maddie a My First Baby Alive doll which she is absolutely in love with. She's so cute walking around with this little baby um, and she really does take care of it whenever she, she can't hold it or play with it. She brings it to me and asks me to hold it. <laughs> it's so cute. And then um, they sent the kids some uh, Buzz Buzz and Woody, Mr. Potato Heads, and then they sent them some Nerf guns, um, some water guns, the, um, like the Rattler right here, so, right there. So tomorrow morning when we have our, um, when our lawn guy comes and he mows, um, the kids are going to go outside and I'm going to get some pictures of them um, playing with the new toys, so, um, you know, it's, it's a really fun time for me right now. We're having a really good summer. I hope that you guys are too. And uh, I hope that you guys will run over to 80 Mile Per Hour Mom and watch some of the mingles. There's some really fun people over there, and I just think it's really fun. And if you're looking to get into blogging, this is a great way to do it because it's hard to come up with things to talk about, but she makes it so easy by giving us the um, giving us the questions. You know, just answer them. All right, you guys have a great week. Bye.